Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, my friend Hello XY joins me as we list the top 5 Chinese bell dramas and Korean movies you should check out. Before I list the top 5 Chinese bell dramas you should check out, let me give Hello XY a chance to introduce herself. Hello, this is Ryan. I usually make videos on Asian film, drama and pop culture. And I'm here to recommend 5 Korean BL movies that you absolutely need to watch. I mainly upload Chinese drama related content on my channel. But I thought it would be awesome to talk about Korean BL movies. The first BL drama on the list is The Untamed. The Untamed was one of the most popular drama, if not the most popular drama of 2019. Ever since the success of The Untamed, the demand for BL drama adaptation is not going anywhere just yet because it's the hottest trend in China that often sees its lead skyrocketing to fame. The Untamed tells the story of Wei Wuxian and Lan Jian, who are disciples from different clans. Their personalities clash as Wei Wuxian is free spirited, while Lang Wang Ji strictly follows the moral codes of conduct set by his clan. Their relationship change as they go to know each other, especially following multiple six turning their backs on Wei Wuxian for his unorthodox ways. The Untamed was a low budget drama, but it's aesthetically pleasing to watch. The drama had a low budget, but the special effects were quite good. The drama has also got an amazing OST. Xia Zhang did a good job portraying Wei Wuxian. I loved how he conveyed his emotions through his vivid facial expressions. He was very good at playing the extremely strong emotion moments like the sadness, the heartbreaking part and the crying scenes. Wang Yibo also did a good job portraying Lan Jan. I personally think if Wang Yibo overacted emotionally, he would not be the character but did a good job silently showing his emotion. Xia Zhan and Wang Yibo exceeded people's expectations considering they never went to acting schools. Though we didn't get a lot of intimate scenes between Wei Wuxian and Lan Jan, the chemistry between them was phenomenal and unforgettable. Number 2. Word of Honor Word of Honor tells the story of Joseph Shu, a man who gets embroiled in a conspiracy in the martial arts world after quitting his job as the leader of an organization that is responsible for protecting royalty. Along his way through Jiang Hu, he meets Wan Ka Xing, a mysterious martial artist who leaves the ghost valley to avenge his parents' death and they become good friends. Like I said in the collab video, I did with Hello X-Ray that I will leave the link in the description down below. Word of Honor hooked me in right from the first episode and I found myself binging all the 8 episodes released. The drama also did an amazing job staying faithful to the novel in terms of its fantastic casting and screenwriting. Novel fans were quite happy because all the classic scenes from the novel were in the drama. Just like The Untamed, Word of Honor is also a low budget drama but that didn't stop it from captivating people's heart. The fighting scenes were beautifully done and the cinematographer has got the jungle vibe. The drama used a lot of close-up scenes and slow motion so that they can show the two leads flaring with each other. The chemistry between Wen Kaxing and Joseph Shu is one of the drama's strong points. Word of Honor gave us the scenes we wish was in the Untamed. I made a voting poll in my YouTube community tab two weeks ago for you guys to choose between the Untamed and Word of Honor and I agree with what you said. These are two completely different dramas and it all comes down to what you prefer more. If you're into fairness and magic, check out the Untamed and if you're into Wushan Mash Arts, check out Word of Honor. I watched both dramas and they're amazing and I recommend them to anyone looking for a good Chinese bell drama. Number 3. Guardian Though the drama didn't have one of the best endings, the chemistry and the relationship between the leads was amazing. The drama tells the story of Zhao Yinlan and Shen Wei as they investigate supernatural cases caused by aliens. Though the special effects was not the best I've seen, the chemistry and the relationship between the leads were amazing. The drama has an English OST and it's quite good. The drama relies on the chemistry and acting between the two main leads. If for someone who is into modern fantasy dramas or BL dramas, check out Guardian. Number 4. Killer and Hela Killer and Hela is a Republican era drama that tells the story of a violent and tough policeman named Zhang Yue Lo and Chen Yui Ji, a gentle and kind doctor who support each other through tumultuous times. The drama has a mixed ending and the interaction between the two main leads was one of the selling points of this drama. You'll want to watch more episodes as the plots get revealed. I loved how Zhang Yue Lo and Shen Yui Chi trusted each other and how beautifully they portrayed their emotions through micro expression. Number 5. Ultimate Note Ultimate Note tells the story of Wu Xie, a boy curious about his uncle's past, watches a mysterious videotape only to find himself mixed up in an elaborate conspiracy. When he decides to set out on an adventure, he meets Zhang Qi Ling, Xie Yui Chan and three others as they travel together. The friendship between the six people and the bromas and interaction between Wu Xie and Zhang Qi Ling is a drama's highlight. The drama is fast paced and is stayed faithful to the novel. Now let's see the top 5 Korean Bill movies you should check out.
Number one is the 2017 release called Method. It's about a veteran actor and an idol who are starring together in a stage play called Unchained. But the thin line between fiction and reality starts to blur and the two actors get involved mentally and physically. Number two on the list is Night Flight. It's a 2014 movie which revolves around three friends who are tangled in a web of bullying and betrayal. They struggle every day on different aspects of their lives, especially Yongju who hides his sexuality and harbors feelings for one of his friends. At number three, I'll suggest Antique. This 2008 film is adapted from a manga called Antique Bakery. It tells the story of Jin Hyuk who has it all from money to good looks and a great reputation. He opens a bakery and employs Sun Woo who is gay and he had a crush on Jin Hyuk back in high school days. Even though the characters in this story might look careless and happy, each one of them are struggling to get over their unforgettable past which they are afraid to face. At number 4, I'll suggest you in between seasons. This 2018 movie is about a single mother raising her son but she is not aware of the biggest secret of his life. As the son gets hospitalized after an incident, the mother is confronted with all his hidden secrets, including his boyfriend who used to pose as the son's best friend. Last but not the least, I'll highly recommend you to watch A Frozen Flower. It is an all-time classic among Korean movies and it tells the story of relationship between the king and his trusted general Hong Rim. The king is under a threat of losing his position because he cannot produce an heir due to him being homosexual. So he appoints his lover to bed the queen and give them an offspring. I'll not suggest this film to any minor out there because there is a whole lot of gore and explicit moments. I hope you liked the recommendations and thank you so much Jonathan for inviting me on your channel. Thank you Hello XY for being part of this video and collaborating with me. If you guys wanna check out our channel, click the first link in the description down below. Let me know in the comment section down below which of these dramas and movies you're gonna check out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. That's all I have for you guys today. Stay safe, stay well and I'll see you guys in the next video.